Hi, Gil de Toei. I'm based in Luderitz. For many years, we've working on the Seven Seas project, which is based on our sustainable development. Um, good idea was to design a biogas digestion system that works. And we installed our own system here so that we can test various projects or various produce and stuff which is goes in there and make sure that it works 100%. And uh, I think the better way is now let me work, walk you through the process and you'll understand it miles better. Thank you. Because we've got some solids in there like the, the core of the mangoes. I'm going to put a little bit of more hot water in just not to to put too much strain on the on the blades. Just something else, a lot of people ask me, Gil, what about carton and stuff, food containers? Um, uh, specifically air cartons, and you've got an industrial blender, the large blenders, you can throw that in too, because it will, it, it's organic. Uh, this, this, all the, all the, from the company that we supply is the higher quality uh, stuff, so it's, um, it's fully PLC controlled, so it's a soft start and you've got various speeds and you can program that in. take it down to the digester and feed it into the digestion. I'll just quickly explain what, what this is. This is the intake of the digestion and how this works is there's uh, the level between this and the, the outlet of the effluent. This one is a little bit higher than that outlet. So uh, now we're just going to throw this in. You can climb up the Sorry. Yeah, what what take what makes biogas uh, is an anaerobic uh, uh, process, meaning that it is not without or without oxygen. So there's a digestive process taking place here, the growth of bacteria uh, with all the enzymes which then convert all the acids and the sugars over to methane. And it's, once the methane is released, it will uh, put a, uh, pressurize this chamber and that is actually what pushes the effluent out of the system. So you always want that positive pressure in your digestion. The reason why we prefer the bags instead of the the built solid underground structures is with the bags you start off with absolutely or very very little oxygen already in the bags where on the dome type digesters when you build it you sort of need to flush it and need to flare a lot of gas before you've got a, a high quality methane uh, gas out um, is that why this is a better design you think the, the bag systems on the smaller side, uh, I'm talking now for, for, for small industrial side, 
is much better than than the fixed uh, bolt systems. It's just less hassles than the dome type uh, uh, digesters. But obviously, I mean, you can uh, they cost more and. Uh, um, it gets a little bit complicated, but we we designed this and it's designed in a complete kit form. So when you get it, when you buy it, it's sponsored for Ireland, it comes as a turnkey project. You just assemble, start up, and you are done. We've okay, done nice. we've done all the homework, and we are still doing homework. You 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 never stop learning when you work with alternative energy. You never. Stop. So the biogas digester gas bag, this side is the outlet where the effluent comes out and that is the fertilizer. Once it builds pressure up here, it, there's, there's, there's positive pressure in here and that will push out the effluent out of this pipe into the drum. And we'll take some of this effluent now and put it in a garden. This is liquid effluent. So you can put it just like that in a little bucket and you throw it. You can stockpile it in drums or you can throw it directly on the plants and just water it afterwards. This is a research unit so it's not continuously connected so we've uh, got to, we try to keep the lines without oxygen but it is impossible so what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to flush the system now a little bit, just get the oxygen out. And I'm going to connect it up now, and then we'll just open one of the valves and just purge the system a little bit. Okay, okay so what we did was we connected the, the gas pipe now from the gas bag. And uh, so we're going to purge the system now, so I'm going to switch the, the pump on. And you can see on the gas it's very low because it's self-regulating and when I open up one of the valves there is now gas flowing there. So we purge the system now. The water is there to take some of the sulfur out of, out of, the, out of the gas. And this one is the dryer. And that's the gas going through the yeah. water, all the bubbles. Yeah. Okay, uh, where a lot of people make a mistake with biogas installations is that in like for instance LP gas when you open up you can smell that but that's a additional chemical that we add or that what the industry adds in is the same with fuel where they color the fuel on methane gas it's completely odorless so if there's a leak at night it, uh, it can kill you so our systems come always with methane gas detectors and if it's a larger uh, project then it also comes with uh, uh, the proper instrumentation to measure the quality of the gas and do fault finding and all that specifically when you want to run you want to generate power with the engine on it and you want as close as possible pure methane so it all comes with that I'm just going to push that out now. I know already what my flow, what I want the flow to be. Some of these lines are still now with, with, uh, with oxygen. So uh, we'll just... Uh, very high energy flame compared to a normal LP gas. Cool. And that's from your kitchen waste. That's from all from the kitchen waste. <laughs> Cooking and everything from a kitchen waste. Once I've done this little bit, I just want the system to, to stabilize. Then we'll start the gas light here at the back.
So, um, about the shredder and everything, a lot of people ask me about that. But still, you try to do alternative energy and electric uh, tools also. Sadly, uh, with the bigger systems, you need to shred the material. But we've got a solution for that. You run your genset from the biogas, so all your preparations, your your maintenance on the on the site when you put uh, a lot of stock in, start the generator. It runs from biogas. So you don't need electricity, you generate your own electricity, so it's a complete full cycle. Nice, great. Now we're going to eat one, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn the gas off and it will die. Oh. It's dead. That's how we switch it off. And when I want, when you switch your light on, it's electronically. So you open the, the gas valve. you there. So you open up your gas valve and you press the button. And there it switches on. That's, there you that's are. nice, yeah. Except the effluent for the garden. Okay, the fertilizer for the garden. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Cool, now we're gonna eat pancakes. Yeah. <laughs>